Hi, today we are going to see row ID and row number in Oracle. What is row ID? Row ID is the physical location of a row. I will show you one table. Here we are going to see the employee table. We are going to see the columns of the employee table now. I have given describe EMP. Okay. Now it shows the columns in the employee table. EMP number, E name. Okay. Job manager etc. It's available, but here the row ID column is not available. But while executing the query in the results we can see the row ID. That means while using the query we can give the row ID. How it is coming means it is the pseudo column. It is not available in the actual table but and the query result we can see that. So the row ID is the pseudo column in Oracle. Apart from the row ID we will be having this dead row number. These are all the some of the examples of the pseudo column. Okay. Now I am going to execute one query. See, this shows the row ID, but it is not available in the table. And E name and salary uh, we have given in the query. Now we will see about the row ID. What is the purpose and uh, what the row ID exactly contains. We will see now. See, this is the pseudo column and a hidden column but not available in the query. And row ID uniquely identifies the row in the database. Okay, row ID uniquely identifies the row in the database, and the row ID is the hexadecimal number which contains 18 digits. If you count it, it will come around 18. Okay, what is this row ID contains mean? It is nothing but a combination of a data object number. The first part is data object number. The second part is file number. The third one is block number and final one is the row number. Okay. The row number will differ. I will show it. Here if you see that A, A, B, A, 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 like that it will be going on uh, changing. But this uh, most of the time this will be constant one. Okay. And this is the way we can use the row ID. What is the main purpose of this row ID is if your table if your table is not having the primary key. Sometimes we may allow duplicates to load in the table. It might be our business requirement. And after some time we may want to delete those rows. We may want to delete the duplicate rows. At the time we may not have the unique identifier. So that you can use this row ID to find out the duplicates and we can delete it. Okay, and, you should, and it is used mainly for the fastest way to access the rows. Sometimes it is more faster than the primary key. Okay, another thing is we are going to see the row number. Row number is also one of the pseudo column, but it indicates the row number and the result set retrieved by the SQL query. That means it is like a sequence number. It normally starts with the number 1 okay, and increments the row num value with each subsequent row written. For example, if we are having 10 rows means it starts from 1 to 10. Okay, I will show that also. See, here I have uh, given the row number row number is also not available in the table. It increments the number by 1. In this table contains 16 rows. So row number incre increments by 1, 1 by 1 and it will uh, end up in the 16. Okay. What is the main purpose of this row number? 
the main purpose is limit the number of rows written for example if you are having around uh, some millions of records means and if you if you are going to access it uh, some uh, thousands of records or uh, some other query we are going to execute it means at that time we may limit the records we may filter the records by giving the row number lesser than like this so we will be getting that the employee is there we have to get here uh, it will show the record only up to nine nine records will be shown in the query result instead of 16 so it will to solve so it will be very useful to limit the number of rows this is the uh, row id this is the brief explanation about the row id and row number and we will see about the other uh, topics in the coming video thanks bye